Iceland, the land of fire and death. Shit, my dog! No, no! Hello and welcome to beautiful Iceland. Hey now, we're in Iceland. My name is Sandro and together with my girlfriend Meg, we have the unique opportunity to travel this beautiful island for the next 10 days. Be prepared for black sanded beaches, hot springs, and countless waterfalls like this one right here. Are you attacking me? Now I'm, I'm getting scared. That is boss. Daffy? Daffy? So I would say let's get it started. Let's go and explore Iceland. Iceland is an island located between the North Atlantic and the Arctic Ocean. In June, we did the 12th day road trip around the famous Ring Road, a 1300 km circuit around the island which shows you a variety of everything what Iceland has to offer. I will show you more than 30 things to see, do, taste and experience in this video. So to keep it simple, I grouped them into 10 categories of my personal Iceland highlights. We will talk about the famous tourist attractions, but I also sprinkled in some hidden gems and personal favorites to keep it interesting. I will save my absolute highlight for the end of the video, so make sure that you stick around. I always wanted to try with cheap, it's this one right here. What should we name him? <laughs> you don't know? Maybe we should name him Jeremy. Jeremy the Jeep. Yes. Here is my Iceland highlight number one, the amazing waterfalls. Among the many natural wonders that Iceland has to offer, waterfalls are one of the most spectacular sights. The must-see ones are for sure Detifoss in the northeast of Iceland, one of the most powerful waterfalls in Europe with 100 meters length and a drop of 44 meters. The photographer's favorite, Seydeland's Foss, where you can actually walk behind the waterfall and experience the power of the water up close, and Skogafoss in the south of the island, which is probably one of the most famous ones. My favorite waterfall was definitely Swarifoss. Unlike the other ones, which are basically located at the main road, you have to hike a few minutes to go there. Wow, look at that. I think over there, I can see already the black walls from the waterfall. Svartifoss translates to black waterfall and has its name from its unique dark hexagonal basalt columns that surround the waterfall. And what I especially like about little swirls, besides that he looks absolutely stunning over there, is that he doesn't spray us. That's the first waterfall that we explored here in Iceland that doesn't give you a nice shower. Thanks, swirls. If you love to observe animals in their natural habitats, my Icelandic highlight number two will be perfect for you. The amazing wildlife. In Iceland, you don't have to go far off the road to encounter fascinating creatures. Or also this guy. <laughs> but if you're brave enough to leave the dry land, you can prepare yourself for a great adventure in one of the world's best spots for whale watching. The small village Husavik is known as the whale watching capital of Iceland, which offers the chance to see humpbacks, orcas and blue whales. Due to bad weather conditions, we had to change the starting location to a more protected bay in another village. But still, it was hard to track down the whales in the wavy sea. But after a while, we were rewarded with this. Oh, there! Holy oh, yeah. wow! <laughs> oh, wow! Okay. Just came all the way out of the water like in a swimming pool. <laughs> I had one of the best experiences of my life in Borgafjordur, all the way on the east coast where thousands of puffins come to build their nests every year between mid-April and mid-August. Fascinating creatures. And they look so cute, especially when they fly. <sighs> yes. You can watch seals sunbathe in the Itri Trunga beach at the west coast. You just have to make sure to bring a zoom lens or at least binoculars to get the best views. Finally, no discussion of the Icelandic wildlife would be complete without mentioning the iconic Icelandic horse. 
these sturdy and beautiful creatures are a beloved part of the Icelandic culture and can be seen grazing on the fields or on riding tours through the country. Um, hey, hey, summer is here. Summer is here? No, it's not. <laughs> Let's leave the natural side of Iceland for a bit for my highlight number three, the capital city Reykjavik, where you should spend at least one day of your trip. One of the city's most iconic landmarks is the Holgramskirka, a towering dramatic structure that dominates the skyline. You can take the elevator to the top for stunning panoramic views over the city. The colorful main street of Lugavagor is the heart of Reykjavik. There are countless little stores. I really love those colorful roads and also everybody seems to be happy and enjoying the national day. If you happen to be in Reykjavik on June 17th, be sure to join the festivals for the Icelandic National Day. This colorful and lively event includes parades, concerts and street parties through the city and is a great way to experience the unique culture and energy of Iceland. My favorite building is definitely the Harpa Opera House with its stunning glass structure, where you can experience world-class performance and events through the year. No visit to Reykjavik would be complete without a stop on the famous hot dog stand, a beloved local institution that has been serving up delicious sausages since the 1930s. What's the wording? <laughs> if you are short on time but you still want to experience the natural beauty of Iceland, you definitely have to schedule in my highlight number four, the Golden Circle. The Golden Circle is a 300 km loop that starts in Reykjavik and takes you to four main destinations in just one day. At Thingvellir National Park, you can walk between two tectonic plates and witness the unique geological formations. The second stop is a geothermal field named Geyser. All right, guys, we are standing here on a field full of geysers. Some of them never erupt. Some of them erupt like once a year. And this guy over here is about to erupt in three, two, one. <laughs> Told ya. Gulfos Waterfall, stop number three, is a majestic waterfall that drops 32 meters into a canyon. It is unbelievable. It is so loud, actually. And there's water everywhere. And it's, it looks like a film set. It looks unreal, honestly. It looks unreal. And last but not least, Carrick Crater is a mystic blue volcanic crater lake. Once you've left Reykjavik, you will find just a few restaurants and supermarkets along the ring road. So it is important to always bring some snacks with you everywhere you go. That's why we have car snacks. That's why we love car snacks. And that's why my highlight number five that made me fall in love with Iceland are the treats. First up, skier. A traditional Icelandic dairy product that is similar to a yogurt, but with a thicker and creamier consistency. If you have a sweet tooth like me, you will love the 8-set chocolate bars. It's a classic Icelandic milk chocolate paired with a licorice ribbon that brings back the energy after a freezing day in the cold Icelandic wind. So this here is actually the last one that we brought home from our trip. Look at that. Mm. That brings back the memories. The next treat is one for the adults, the Icelandic beer. With a thriving craft beer scene, Iceland has some of the best brews in the world. Nothing's better than a Viking Sumarøl after a long day of traveling Iceland. Not sponsored, by the way. However, to buy alcohol in Iceland, you have to stop by one of the special liquor stores called Vinbudi. Now we have something to eat on the ring road. And don't starve to death. Cart snacks. Iceland highlight number six can be found where the rugged volcanic island meets the rough and cold sea, the beaches. Let's start with the most spectacular one, the Diamond Beach located in the south of the island. What makes it really special is that there are chunks of ice laying all around the coast and they obviously look like diamonds. So that's where the name comes from. Oh wow, look at this place. Beautiful, it's so crystal clear and the contrast to the black sand just makes it look amazing. 
The second famous beach of Iceland is Reynes Fjora, located near the town of Vik, with black volcanic sand, towering basalt columns and unique rock formations. For sure, the dramatic landscape will give you shivers. You just have to make sure that you never stand too close to the ocean, since the waves have surprised many tourists in the past. Also on the list is the Chupalonsandur beach in the west with parts of a shipwreck resting on the black sand. You need very good timing to actually see a volcanic eruption in Iceland. All we got was this postcard. But still, there are enough ways to explore my Iceland highlight number 7. The volcanoes and hot springs. There are countless craters, caves formed by lava streams and wide lava fields that tell stories about former eruptions. In places like the geothermal field called Hervir, you can witness the power of the earth as steam rises from the ground, spreading the smell of sulfur in the air. I mean, it, it smells good, but then also bad. <laughs> it's also crazy how loud it is. It sounds like a huge kettle. Somebody's having a huge tea party. <laughs> Another beautiful side effect of the high geothermal activity on Iceland are the hot springs. If you want to experience the wonder of a hot spring without having to undress in the cold wind, then the Blue Lagoon is the perfect alternative. Sure, it is very touristy, but after freezing for 10 days on the ring road, there is nothing better than to sink into the milky blue waters enriched by minerals. Okay, now we're supposed to put this on our face. And what does it do? Um, it's a silica mud. Oh yeah, I can already feel it. <laughs> a more intimate experience offered the walk baths at the east end of Iceland. The pools are built inside a lake and heated by geothermal energy. Especially during the summer months where the sun never sets in Iceland, it is an unforgettable experience to warm up after a day of exploring. We're already running late. No, we're never running late. Time is on it's, your side. When you're in charge of getting up in the morning, it's like five snoozes. Lies. What's the point of five snoozes? Then you could just sleep an extra half an hour. It makes me happy five times already. <laughs> My highlight number eight that Iceland has to offer are the accommodations. I've never been to a destination before where you can find such a variety of places where you can stay the night. Always a great option are the tiny houses in the middle of nowhere. They are reduced to the essentials and perfect for a cozy night after an eventful day. If you want to spend a bit more money, you can book a night in one of the many beautiful guest houses with amazing views over the breathtaking landscape. More budget friendly are the few hostels with shared spaces where you can meet other travelers or you can stay at one of the camping grounds around the island, park your camper van or pitch a tent. There are also some unusual sleeping experiences to discover. For tonight, we picked out a very special sleeping spot. We are staying in a bus. Look at this. Back there, a little kitchen. Here's a little table with four chairs. And back here is the bed. Isn't that cute? I really love it. Highlight number 9 is a collection of everything that is not a volcano, a waterfall or a beach. Let's just call them the unique sites. Something I've never seen before like this is the Ice Lagoon, which basically produces the frozen crystals for the Diamond Beach. Look at that, out of the car and voila, the Glacier Lagoon. Look at all those icebergs. Look at all those icebergs. Wow, and they're seals. Wow, look at those pretty seals. <laughs> wow. One of the must-see spots is the plane wreck in the Black Desert. This abandoned aircraft sits in the middle of a stark and surreal landscape, making for some truly unforgettable photos. Here we are, inside the plane wreck. It has some spooky vibes, to be true. Instead of taking the shuttle bus, I would recommend doing the brief one hour hike before or after the bus schedule to avoid the tourist crowds and soak up the fantastic landscape. Another unique man-made attraction is the Buddha Kirka, a black wooden church perched on the edge of the dramatic Snaefelsnest Peninsula. 
To complete the list of unique sites, I should add the iconic Kirkufell mountain peak, which is the perfect subject for any photographer, the Fjadragliufur Canyon, which offers a dramatic landscape of steep cliffs and winding riverbeds, and the Stutlagil Canyon that can be found in East Iceland with its magical rock pillars. So here is number 10, my absolute favorite highlight and the most important reason why you should travel to Iceland. The unforgettable memories. Memories are made for a lifetime and my trip to Iceland will definitely forever hold a special place in my heart. Sure, Iceland is a pricey destination and the cold winds and the weather can be challenging. But then again, a ray of sunshine breaks through the clouds, a warm bath heats up your frozen bones, or a cozy accommodation welcomes you for the night. Everything that you experience through your eyes and through your heart in Iceland will turn into stories and memories that you will keep forever. And these memories are the most important and final highlight of my trip to Iceland. I am so grateful that I could share this trip with the best travel companion that I can think of and I hope by now I could give you an idea of what you can expect when you travel to Iceland. Feel free to ask questions and add your own travel tips to the comments and if this video was helpful then hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to my channel so I will see you again on my next outdoor and travel adventure. Iceland. Thank you so much for those countless beautiful memories. My heart is so full right now and I will definitely miss you, but I'm sure one day we see each other again.